Step into the fire of self-discovery. This fire will not burn you, it will only burn what you are not. Dying to your own attachments is a beautiful death. Because this death release you into real life. You have to die as a seed to live as a tree. Whatever comes, don't push it away. When it goes, do not grieve. Feelings are just visitors, let them come and go. If you make human company too important, you will not discover your true self. Relationships not based in truth are never entirely reliable and are rarely enduring. Taking time to discover yourself is the best use of time. Prioritize this. One should not excessively seek partners or friends, one should seek to know and be oneself. As you begin to awaken to the truth, you start noticing how well life flows by itself and how well you are cared for. Life supports the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual needs of the one who is open to self-discovery. Trust opens your eyes to the recognition of this. Surrender allows you to merge in your own eternal being. Surrender is not a weakness, it is strength. It takes tremendous strength to surrender life to the supreme, to the cosmic unfolding. I don't have to be anything at all. I don't even have to be myself, because there is no such thing as not being myself. I am inescapably myself. My love, stay here. Going in search of self, as a goal, is illusion, you are already the one self. You will purchase the map, only to find you are already here. There is a presence, a silence, a stillness which is here by itself. There is no door of it, no creator of this stillness. It is simply here in you, with you. It is the fragrance of your own self. There is nothing to do about this, it is naturally present. This fragrance of peace, this spaciousness, it is the fragrance of your own being. Don't be a storehouse of memories. Leave past, future, and even present thoughts behind. Be a witness to life unfolding by itself. Be free of all attachments, fears, and concerns by keeping your mind inside your own heart. Rest in being. Like this, your life is always fresh and imbued with pure joy and timeless presence. Be happy, wise, and free. Never assume that you have attained truth. Don't make any claim to knowledge. Form no conclusion or evaluation concerning truth. The minute you do, your downfall is assured. Whenever you imagine you know something, you cease being open to the living exploration. You have closed a door and cut off the oxygen to the breathing truth. Don't worry about anything at all. You are not here by accident. This form is just a costume for a while. But the one who is behind the costume, this one is eternal. You must know this. If you know this and trust this, you don't have to worry about anything. This world is so full of love. And your heart, your being, is so full of love, so full of peace. You don't have to go to some place else to find peace. It is right where you are. You are the unchanging manifesting as the changefulness, throw everything away, forget about it all. You are learning too much, remembering too much, trying too hard. Relax a little bit, give life a chance to flow its own way, unassisted by your mind and effort. Stop directing the river's flow. Eternity is not endless time, eternity means timeless. Sometimes, grace throws you and your world into the washing machine, full spin, so that the fearful and controlling tendency is compelled to offer itself to the totality, to the will and dance of the cosmos. I come to call you home, those who resonate with my words and follow them internally, will find that place and know its completeness, its joy and fullness, I have come to call you away from suffering, from fear and from a life of sorrow and into your own divine being. I did not come here to give you decorative stories, to excite your imagination, or sign you up for some long program but to show you how available truth is, 
and to remind you that you are never separate from it. No person on. This planet is apart from the truth in the heart and yet the world is so vast and varied in expression. The greatest good and greatest evil is here. In this forest of duality and complexity you must find your way home. You must win yourself back. Wisdom and trust will be your compass. Many voices came to call us, but we are here today because we are freshly called by the voice of God. Love, truth, do not come halfway home, but fully home. I know the voice that called you is true and truth and that where you are being called to is also real, it is inside your own heart. It is what gives me the strength to be here. I love to see the beings being set free from the hypnosis of conditioning, from fears, false projection, and the grip of ego, and I know that to be liberated is not difficult, it requires only openness and the sincere desire to be free. I don't need to hear anything about your past. Your stories are of no interest to me, that is not how I know you, I know you only through your heart, that is my true connection with you Dash, the living power of God, it is that which I respond to in you, and it is only this that I know. I can only keep reminding you of it by pointing you again and again to the obvious in yourself, now you must respond to my pointing. This will complete this yoga of seeing, find and be one with that which is imperishable, be merged in the absolute. Don't go to sleep. Once you begin to recognize the divine gifts in life, you come to see that there are so many. Your life is abundant. Live by the light of your own heart, but make sure this heart is silent and empty. If you take yourself to be the body and mind only, you will die. When you discover yourself as awareness, the fear of death will not trouble you any longer. As your satsang deepens, the debris starts floating to the surface bringing much discomfort to the body-mind. Now is not the time for therapy or analysis. Simply leave it to the sovereign power whose benevolence washes away all delusion. Remember this. You have to see and meet God in this life, don't let this life go by and miss discovering the Supreme One. You will find Him inside as your constant being, pray, Holy Mother, Holy Father, Holy Spirit, don't give me the illusion that even one second belongs to me, all is you. I, also, am you and yours, for only like this does your life stand the chance to be miraculous. Who can count how many lives we have tasted? Look at the stars. How old are they? And a star is not even sentient. You are sentient. How can you be less in age than a star? You don't know at all. What you do know is that right now you exist and are here. All take this for granted. However, what should be known is what you are here as. And if what you are here as is clear, who knows this? You want to learn about so many things. But about yourself, you are not sure. Don't worry about anything in this world, and your eyes shine bright again. Your heart becomes open, clear, and pure, trust. As you move, grace goes ahead of you, even before you take your first step. She is there with you and walks with you along the way. Therefore, lay down your arms, lay down all your techniques and your efforts, so that you may discover the effortless silence, know that the whole universe is supporting your awakening, neither doubt nor fear. All is well, take rest, find and feel your heart again. Take courage. Being free is neither difficult nor distant. I know it has often been conceived, perceived and presented to be rare, remote and difficult, but all that is delusion, a great seeming. I don't know why awakening happens in one heart so completely and in another there is some delay or postponement. I am not deeply concerned about this. But I know that the voice that calls you is true, and where you are being called to is real and true. Heaven is inside your own heart. This is why I am here. I, it does not matter what comes up. What matters is who you are, the one perceiving it. The ways of the mind are ancient, but yourself is timeless. You say you want to get rid of the noise. But you and the noise go together. 
you have to be you without you and all noise will stop. The real you is the formless witness within. The person, the noisy one, is only imagined. To recognize this is freedom. We are never without grace. We can never be abandoned, it is always there. God can never abandon mankind, from just one candle, you can light a million candles without putting strain on the first candle. From one awakened being, you can set light into a million souls, so powerful is the light, if you go into a room full of light, but outside is darkness, and you open the curtain, that darkness won't come in. But if you go into a room which is dark and you open up a little tiny bit of a curtain, it will fill the whole room with light. Such is the power of the light, we are this light and we must discover this, there have been many yogis who have been doing these things, or have been having these experiences for years, and now they are searching for freedom.